If you've been dreaming about launching a career as a UI designer, then this is the video for you. I'm going to take my 15 years of experience as a professional UI designer and boil it down to the five things that you need to start doing right now if you want to launch your career this year. First up, you need to learn the basics of design. This is gonna sound super fundamental, but fundamentals will carry you through your entire career. If you're new to design, if you don't understand the basic concepts of design, then you're gonna to need to find something to help you learn those basics and fundamentals. A great book is called The Non-Designer's Design Book by Robin Williams. Not that Robin Williams, a different Robin Williams, but this book will teach you everything you need to know about color and typography and basic theory. It's a fantastic read. You can find the link to it down in the description. Next thing you could do is watch a bunch of YouTube videos. I have tons of YouTube videos on this channel, but I'll also link some of my favorite other creators, design creators on YouTube. Watch their channel, subscribe to them as well. They are absolutely fantastic and there's no reason for you to go to a fancy design school anymore. YouTube University has got you covered. Lastly, you might want to consider taking a free or a cheap course, something that's more structured than YouTube, something that's going to help you to understand and actually walk out and execute on those basics. I highly recommend my own 30-day UI design program because we'll cover all the fundamentals of design specifically related to UI design. So you'll learn things like color and typography and alignment and texture. You'll learn a tool like Figma. You'll also learn all the UI design specifics. This is a fast forward program where you're going to do 30 different design challenges, multiple capstone projects, tons of video and hands-on lessons. If you don't like this course, there's a bunch of others. Just find one that fits your needs and get going and learn the fundamentals. After you have built your skill set in basic design, fundamental design, it's time to start learning UI patterns and UI design specifics. You have to learn the tools of the medium, the tools of the trade, and the things that are very specific to this type of design. To do this, I recommend a few things. Number one, you can study things like the app human interface guidelines or the Google material design system. If you go online, you can just read through this, immerse yourself in these free resources. It'll tell you how the best of the best companies in the world think about design. They think about systems. They think about structuring things. That's going to be a huge thing for you as a UI designer. These are a lot of the platforms that we design for. So knowing how they work, what's accepted, what's not accepted, what's standard, what's not standard is going to be incredibly helpful to you. You. But you can also be looking at different libraries and design systems. I highly recommend you grab a free design system or a cheap one. A free version of one you can grab is something called the Pegasus Design System. They're currently on the 2.0 version. Or you can grab something like Untitled UI and their free kit. Find all of these in Figma. I'll put the links down in the description. Download them, tear them apart, put them back together. See how they build things. As you learn basics as well as UI specifics using these resources, you're going to really understand the ins and outs of UI design. I want to take a moment and just talk about the sponsor of this video, which is Mobbin. They are an ultimate go-to resource for UI, UX, and web designers like you and me. And Mobbin offers a wealth of curated, fresh, amazing inspiration. And you can go to the site and filter between things like iOS, Android, and web and get all of these different inspirations and click on any individual one of them get the examples of not only that layout but multiple other layouts that this website is using and i can explore navigation patterns color schemes typography choices and find the latest and greatest design trends all right there on Mobbin. And it's a powerful search engine that allows me to go in and find individual or specific elements. Like, do I want to find app categories, marketing pages, specific businesses, websites, or applications? You can find all of that on Mobbin. And the seamless experience makes it pretty much a joy to use. And so you want to go and experience the creative possibilities firsthand and unlock design excellence with Mobbin right now. The link is down in the description definitely give it a try. Once you've immersed yourself in the basics of design and then UI design specifics, it's time to do some capstone projects. And I recommend building three capstone projects. Now, the reason you're going to create these projects is because you need A, something to put in your portfolio if you want to get hired, but B, you need something that's tangible, something that's complete that you can get feedback and critique on. You can take these designs, put them on social media, put them on Dribbble, join a community, join a Slack channel and start to get feedback on your work. 
from people around you or from peers or other people in the design industry. It's incredibly important. And the three projects you should be working on are ones that are directly related to our industry. As a UI designer, I recommend you build one mobile application, you design one web application, and you complete one website of some kind, landing page, marketing page, doesn't matter, but this is gonna be your bread and butter as a UI designer. Now again, another shameless plug, but I highly recommend my 30-day UI design program because these are the types of capstone projects, the multiple capstone projects that you'll accomplish in the program. You'll walk away with a portfolio, with case studies, and you get immediate access to the Design Champs community where you can get that feedback, where you can get that peer review and actually grow as a designer. So capstone projects, learn by doing, learn by failing, do it and you will learn and you will grow so much quicker. So now you're no longer just studying design, but you are doing design. It's time to start displaying that design. You need to create a value-driven portfolio. Now notice here, I didn't just say a portfolio or a website or even case studies. I said a value-driven portfolio portfolio, a portfolio that showcases your value, not just the tools that you use or the projects that you've done or the experiences that you've had, but what type of value you are now able because of all this learning, because of this growth that you're able to now provide to companies or to freelance clients. I recommend these two things to go into any good value driven portfolio quantitative metrics and qualitative metrics. Now these are user experience design principles, but they're directly implied to if you wanna showcase value as a creative in your portfolio. What is quantitative? Quantitative is gonna be hard numbers. This is gonna be pretty tricky to get at first because this is analytics, metrics, numbers, details. Did you increase revenue? Did you increase traffic? And as you're just beginning, you're probably not gonna have a lot of that. So you're gonna lean heavily on the qualitative metrics. Now qualitative is something as simple as nine out of 10 dentists agree that this toothpaste is the best. A great way to get this is to take those case studies, take those capstone projects of yours, showcase them inside of a community like Design Champs, over on Dribble, online, on Twitter, get some feedback, but ask specific questions. A great way to do this also is to redesign something that was not so great and improve it, make it look better. Then you ask a simple question. Does this look better? If four out of five people, including your mom, your aunt, your spouse, your best friend, and your dog say that it's better, then four out of five people agree that your design is better. That's at least some value that you can actually communicate and showcase on your portfolio. Should your portfolio be filled with beautiful images of your design work? Absolutely. Should it include a narrative and a story on what you've accomplished and the problems that you solved? Absolutely it should. But in my opinion, those pale in comparison to clear communication of the type of value, either quantitative or qualitative, that it brings to potential clients or companies that are looking to hire you. For this last tip, I'm gonna try not to sound like a motivational speaker or a online guru, but the final ingredient to you launching your UI design career is is to just be consistent. None of this is gonna matter if you are not consistent. And these are the three tips I recommend for being consistent. Number one, stop worrying about the trends. I get it, design trends change, the way that we do things change. What used to be old is now cool, what used to be cool is now old. We went from glossy buttons to flat buttons, back to glossy buttons. Don't worry about all of that. Don't chase the trends, just focus on those fundamentals. Become very rock solid at those fundamentals and it's gonna benefit your career greatly. Number two, don't learn more than you currently need to. I get it, everybody's talking about AI, Rive, animation tools, all this stuff, but don't worry about that. You probably don't need that right now. You just need to become a master of layout, typography, UI design patterns, implementing, and maybe some prototyping. Lastly, just show up every single day. Get your hands on the keyboard, Get your face in front of the design program. Be designing something. Challenge yourself to show up for at least 30 minutes or an hour every day. Utilize your time well. Spend a few less hours on Netflix and social media and a few more hours each day putting your nose in front of the laptop and getting the work done. You do this, it's gonna benefit you greatly. That's it. That's everything you need to do to launch your UI design career fast. If you follow these five steps, you're gonna be light years ahead of people who are stumbling and fumbling around just trying to figure it out piece by piece. Follow this formula. Let me know how it goes down in the comments. Do you have any questions? And make sure you check the description for all those helpful links that I mentioned throughout the video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I do lots of videos about design and development and your career. So make sure they ring that bell so you know when more videos like this one come out. I hope you're having an amazing week, designing amazing things, making amazing things, and building your career. We'll see you in the next one.